everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer, and we are back with another episode of Blisscraft Vanilla. So, anyways, hello there, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a while. And um, so today, I actually do have a few plans today. Over here, we have my little cat family that I have grown over here at a very alarming rate. Um, I want to have as many cats as possible, <laughs> so I think this actually might be my my subscriber garden in a way. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the goal here. And downstairs is my little to-do list, so I really haven't added much to it recently. Um, so the house is now finished, so we're gonna take that one down. And so is the greenhouse. So we'll take that down as well. I've definitely put in a lot of work on the server. Well, not really a lot of work, but you know. Also to the AFK fishing farm is kind of on its way to being done, but we're not fully there yet. So we can take that one down too. Um, and there we go. So now what we have to work on is the stable and the farms where I have my animals and stuff. And also I want to build a cat tower, which kind of all kind of goes into the subscriber barn and stuff. I want to build like this huge cat tower. I think that would be really fun to do. So upstairs, I'm going to show you off. I'm going to show off my how I mean my greenhouse. Don't think you get to see the greenhouse yet. So we're going to take a peek over here. I'm not sure if that's a wandering tradesman or what or whatnot, but you know whatever, it's fine. So this is the garden where I have all my food so that I don't starve. Yeah, that's definitely a wandering villager. Okay, I just saw him. I get patrols around here a lot, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure what they sound like because I don't usually play with sounds on. Over here is where I started to work on the stable. Um, if you guys haven't really known, I've been this, like... <sighs> I don't know how to exactly, but I've been very, very sensitive to my anxiety recently. So I've been having a lot of attacks in the last few months. Um, a lot of triggers, a lot of attacks. It's been very, very rough for me actually the last few months, I'm not gonna lie. And so I've, so like, I've kind of built this during the days that I was just having like a really, really bad low day. And just was not feeling up to it, not feeling well, didn't want to record, didn't want to stream. So this is where we've ended up now, and honestly, I'm ready to get this done on stream. I mean, on on video, so that way we can, you know, put like a roof over my over my animals' heads, and like they won't, you know, they have a nice little space to live in. Anyways, I'm gonna grab these eggs over here and start breaking them because I want their food. Well, I don't want their food. I want I want their babies. No babies, really? Five eggs and you have no babies. Chickens, do better. Here, let's reproduce. Reproduce at a mass, massive amount. Reproduce everyone. Yeah, make the babies. So cute. Okay. Over here is the AFK fish farm. So last season it was just like a bunch of cobblestone. This season, I kind of want to work towards like an actual nice looking space to work in. Um, so it's now it's completely operational and stuff. I still have to finish up the inside by the looks of it, and um, yeah, like actually, I really like the looks of this place. It's really cute. Something that like I'm definitely really proud of. That's for sure. I think that's pretty much everything I want to talk about so far. So anyways, the next clip we're gonna get going and we're gonna get finished up on this beautiful little stable area for my animals. So that way they have us so that they, they have like a roof over their heads because much like my roleplay server, it rains a lot on this server too. <laughs> okay, we'll see you all there. So the first thing that we need to do is go upstairs and actually get some more materials. I am super low on said materials, so as you guys can see, I've definitely made a little bit more progress on how this is going to look, so I need to get like a lot more spruce wood. I hear a zombie hanging out somewhere. So we need to get some more spruce wood. 
cut that down so that we can make some more fences as well as two is just kind of finishing up the overall appearance of how this how of how this looks and then I'm gonna actually get some cobblestone I think and kind of keep up with like the pattern of how the rest of the houses look around here so yeah, just that it, it kind of gets a sense of unity going on. So we're just going to just cut down this tree, get some spruce wood, and then we're going to go back and grab some other stuff. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so what should we talk about while I'm getting all these, all this material? I'm going to finish off with this axe. Um, oh no. I am out. Of, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to grab this guy and go upwards and then finish digging finish getting those bleh, Getting that spruce wood. Okay, so It's honestly been a weird week for me. I have been feeling so off so groggy like now, normally, my goal is whenever I feel groggy is that I try to do something stimulating. So, like, anything that, like, requires any fine motor work, um, nothing of, like, the gross motors fashion or anything. Just something that's just, like, simple, very light work. Like, for example, when I'm at work, I will get the kids to come over and we will play with Play-Doh, for example. That usually tends to be a very effective method strategy for me whenever I'm just kind of feeling that like tired grogginess um, whether it be because I didn't sleep all the other night or god knows what else I'm actually not quite sure now I've actually been on meds now like the last almost two months now I think I started them back in July and I've been on them since um, <laughs> And normally I get very tired, very sleepy, and it doesn't, like, make me function for like an hour after I take it. And, <laughs> like, I can barely keep myself awake now because of them, after I take them, because I just, I just get so tired. There is a creeper! Nuh uh! Hey! Creeper, buddy! You're violating my house. Yeah, I'm gonna try to like get him away from my build. Trying to like not blow him up. <gasps> Why are you kidding me? <laughs> what just happened? Okay. We'll just, um, okay. I'm not sure what just happened, but something happened, and that was very, uh, very strange, needless to say. Okay, so I've got all of my spruce wood, um, now we just need to go ahead here and actually make some fences. Now these fences are, I don't know, ever since they changed the recipe up, I've been very confused on them. I keep forgetting how they work. I think it's... These guys go here. These guys go here. And then these guys go here. Perfect. Okay. So we're just going to go back outside. We're going to see. Because I think after this build, I don't really need these, these items anymore. So I don't. <gasps> that gave me a heart attack. I don't like creepers. As you can tell. Oh, okay. I think mob destruction got turned off, which is, I, I'm not sure if that was a change by Bridget or whatnot. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I mean, I guess it's a good thing because I would have like three giant craters right now in my, you know, on my, on my property. And that would not make me a very happy hikey. <laughs> So we're just going to get these fences all connected. I feel like I might need a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. 
because realistically, I don't want to have more fences than I really need because I'm not sure if I'll like really need them after I'm done this build. And like, I don't want to make more than like I need because I also need that wood to make the to make the uh, the roof. Now I do actually like um, the dark, like the oak bark, and that's something that like I would live with, like that like I would live with, uh, I, that I would live with <laughs> if I didn't have the option to. So I mean, yeah. <sighs> I am really hoping that this house kind of comes together. It's actually getting dark, so I kind of want to go into my AFK fish farm and we might go ahead, cut it off, and then we'll come back and we'll see where I am with this beautiful farm looking house. So I'll see you all there. Alrighty, anyways though, it's been like about like two weeks or something since. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to show them off a little bit. So the first thing we're going to show off here is um, down here. So I'm not sure how much this place has changed since you guys last saw it. I have no idea. But anyways, though, uh, I got pranked by Mogi and Bridget. And so over here, as you can tell, I have um, a to-do list. So <laughs> what they ended up doing actually was adding on to my to-do list. Now, some of them I won't be doing, but you know what? Hell, hell to it, let's do it. So I'm not gonna give Zoe 64 diamonds. <laughs> I am not teaching Savvy how to PVP. If she, if she taught, if she learned PVP from me, uh, yeah, she screwed. So we're gonna get rid of this one too, bye. Uh, teach Annabelle how to spell. I mean, same though. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I'm a teacher, but, you know, <laughs> what? Uh, build houses at Mogi's Village? Maybe. Join Jonay's Club. Now, I'm not quite sure what this means. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So, we're gonna take this one down, too. Then, this one says, have babies with Fuzzy. Yeah, hell no. Up here, I'm not giving Fuzzy any of my damn diamonds. Give Noah a piece of flint? Yeah, sure. Leave Jacqueline some dirt. Oh yeah, she would love all of the dirt. Then over here, give Crescent more leaves, possibly. Help Ali get a hundred cats. You know what? Me. Uh, yeah, we'll help her. Why not? <laughs> we'll be a helpful fairy around here. I am damn well not getting a hundred stacks of red wool. And help Moon find a dress. Once again, not quite sure. Does this mean like get Moon a dress skin type thing? I mean, I'm down for that if that's what that means. So. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, that is now my updated to-do list. Oh, also to give Bella- oh, actually, no, we'll leave that one for now. So, give Noah a piece of flint, stables and farms, which we have to finish up the stables. Leave Jacqueline some dirt, work on the subscriber barn, build shrine for Bridget, build cat tower, have many, many cats, build houses at Mogi's village, Give Bella all my beds and give Lily a corgi. Over here, we have to give Crescent more leaves, help Allie get a hundred cats, and help Moon find a pretty, pretty princess dress. <laughs> and that's not all. We also have a. My nether tunnel. So I'm kind of following the same aesthetic as I have throughout my entire building theme, which is the stone, and we're going to be having the randomized block placement for it. It's just like a really cute design that I have really fallen in love with. 
and I just kind of like love the texture and just how it looks. So we'll definitely we'll be going through this and getting rid of these cobblestone blocks and getting them into alternate, alternating pattern. Getting some wood in here and adding like a trim around here. Just yeah, there's a few ideas for this nether tunnel, and it's going to basically fit, which is the dark woods, the stone, and of course a lot of the nature stuff. <laughs> Anyways, that is enough for this Blisscraft vanilla episode. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys have not yet, hit that subscribe button as well as that little notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Look, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye, guys!